What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a full face of first impressions. I have so many new products to test out. I'm literally so excited. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys like full face first impressions and I can totally do more in the future. I just like that you can kind of give like so many first impressions in just one video. So you guys kind of get my thoughts on a ton of different products. Be sure to subscribe to my channel before you guys leave today. It'll be the first link right down below in the description box and also hit that bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. And yeah, I think that's enough blabbing. Let's go ahead and get started. Getting my hair out of my face. I feel like I start every video by saying that, but it's always hanging in my face. Alrighty, so for primer, we're gonna try the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base Visage. This, I'm probably butchering that. I don't know, I've never tried this, um, which is kind of surprising to me because I've tried so many MAC products, I'm a big fan, but we're gonna give this guy a try and just apply it. I'm gonna do a little bit more to pumps. Well, it feels very silky. It has, hmm, it has like a slight scent to it. I wouldn't call it like a good scent or a bad scent. It's just kind of like, I don't know. It feels really silky on the skin though, which is nice. It feels really nice on the skin. And I do feel like it did like conceal like some of my larger pores. So I like it. My hands feel so like slippery now. This is interesting, on the back I'm reading right here, it says not for use in the lip area. So I don't think I put it near my lips. At least I hope not. All right, for foundation today, we're gonna be trying out the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Cushion Stick Radiant Makeup. So I just did a full first impressions on the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Foundation, which I will link down below if you guys have not seen that yet. And I really, really liked it. So then I saw that they had this, which is like, I think the same foundation, but it's like, oh. Yes, yeah, so there's like a cushion at the top here. The packaging on this is kind of cool. I have this one in shade Pebble. This is not the same shade that I had in the other foundation. So hopefully this works. I don't know, this is 3C2. So I'm gonna just crank up. Oh, a little bit of foundation like spurred it out. I guess I'll do it one more time. I'm scared it's gonna like fly out of here. Oh no, ooh, it does. Oh my God, did you guys see that? I hope I had that in frame. It like spurts out, which is a little strange, but I guess I'm gonna just Apply it. I feel like nothing is coming. Okay, now it's not spreading out, it just kinda came. I'm just gonna go like that and then do it with a beauty blend. Oh. <sighs> I don't I don't know that I love this. Alright, now I'm gonna blend this out with the beauty blender. This is kind of weird, I feel like. Okay, I mean, it's actually blending out fine um, once you use the beauty blender. I wouldn't suggest blending it out with this because I feel like that just like soaks up the product and wipes it away, um, which is kind of strange. I feel like this is also less coverage than the one in the bottle, which is interesting. This color is also just not, just not working for me. That's my own fault. This is too cool. As you guys see, my neck is like yellow shade and this is like more pinky. Um, so I think we're gonna go in with a different foundation because this one is just not, it's just not working for me. I feel like, I don't know, it's not the same as the one in the bottle, which I really liked. All right, so we are gonna scratch that because I still want this look to come out nicely. I don't know, I'm just not really a fan of this. So I'm just gonna go in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude that is in the actual bottle. This one is in shade Tawny. I know this works, I like it, so I'm gonna use this. I'm just going to apply it to my face and blend it out with a beauty blender. Like I said, I do have an entire full um, first impressions on this and wear test and everything else. I really like this foundation. I think it's interesting how I find it to be a lot different than this one. I don't know. Maybe it's just the packaging that threw me off in the color, but I just also felt like the formula wasn't um, like as good either, so. You win some, you lose some. This next product I'm a little nervous about. This is the Josie Marin Argan Creamy Concealer Crayon. So I don't normally ever use like concealer crayons like this, but this actually gets really high reviews on like Sephora's website. So I was kind of like, all right, let's give it a try. Um, yeah, oh, I don't know. I feel weird about going with this underneath my eye, but I'm gonna do it anyways. And oh, I mean, it is really creamy. That I can give it for sure. Wow, it actually feels like butter. I feel like this might be a creasy mess though because it is so creamy, but we'll see. All right, I'm gonna blend that out under my eyes with the Beauty Blender. Blending out so easily, like I said, because it's 
so, so creamy. It looks really pretty too. It's not like super full coverage, but it does give like a nice hydrated kind of look to the under eyes. Like it actually kind of feels like hydrating, not drying, which is good. Definitely gonna set this with a powder. I do always set my under eye concealer with powder, but I just feel like because of how buttery and creamy this is, this might be a nightmare when it comes to creasing, but it could, it could surprise me. I personally do like a little more coverage than this is giving me, but I feel like for an everyday concealer, this would actually probably be really nice. But if you're looking for like a more like glam, like full coverage sort of concealer, I don't know that you'll like this one, but I feel like for the average like person who just, you know, wears makeup on the daily, whatever, something quick and easy, you would probably really like this. And it takes like literally five seconds to blend. Like I'm literally just going like this and it's already all blended out. So that's pretty good. To set my entire face, I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Demi Glow Finishing Powder. I'm really excited for this. You guys know L'Oreal Pro Glow is one of my favorite foundations. So I have high, high hopes for the powder. The powder looks like it has like almost like a highlighter on top here and then a regular powder. So this is like what the highlighter looks like and then the regular like powder. So I'm just gonna swirl my brush in both and then we'll see what happens. Yeah, and I'm just going to set my face with this. I like that this is setting my makeup but not necessarily making me look like completely matte and dry. So I'm pretty impressed with this powder. For my brows today, we're gonna to try out the Foolproof Brow Powder from Benefit. I don't know if this is new from them or not, but I have never tried it. I have it in shade three. I really like like the concept behind this because it has like a lighter powder in the front and then a darker in the tail, which I actually always do anyways. Like a lot of times I'll use two different pencils on my brows. So I really like that they did that rather than just having it be all the same color. I think that's really cool. The brush on this, I feel like I looked at this and was like, what? It's like a spongy tip. I don't know, I'm not gonna use that. So I'm gonna just go in with this flat top little like traditional brow brush. This one is from e.l.f. Benefit actually makes one of these and it's really, really good. Mine just isn't clean right now, so I'm using this one from e.l.f. So I'm gonna dip into the lighter powder to start and put that on the front part of my brow. Seems to be very pigmented, which is good. Probably gonna run the lighter part all over and then I'll go in with the darker to like fill in when I'm done. I like powders for more like natural brow days. I feel like they give a lot more of a natural effect to the brow. But I do find that if you have areas with like sparse hair on your brows, sometimes a powder can be a bit harder to work with if there's like nothing there for like the powder to adhere to, if that kind of makes sense. Um, so it kind of depends on your brow type. And now I'm gonna dip into the darker and kind of do my tail like that. Now I'm just gonna go in with some concealer to clean the brow up and give it some shape. All right, so this is the completed brow once I went in with some concealer to clean it up, and I actually really like it. I thought that this powder was really easy to use, and like I said, I really, really like how they did the two different colors. I think that that's great, so I don't have any complaints. I thought it was pretty good. All right, so now that brows are done, we're gonna move on to eyes, and we're gonna be using the new Pure Pro Palette. They made this in collaboration with a makeup artist. I don't wanna butcher the name, but you guys see it right there. I feel bad, but I don't know how to pronounce it, so I don't wanna, you know, butcher it. But this palette looks really, really beautiful, so I'm excited to dig in. I'm gonna go in with this color right here in the shade Popular first, and we're gonna pop this into the crease as a neutral transition shade. You guys already know. I'm thinking of doing like a brown, like a deep, dark brown smoky eye today. That's kind of what I'm feeling. This is blending really, really nicely. Then I'm gonna go in with Adobe, and I'm gonna go right on top of that just to warm up the crease a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with Muddy to start to deepen the crease. This is like a really cool toned brown shade. And again, a matte. Most of the shades actually in this palette are actually, there's a decent mix of like mattes and shimmers in this palette, so. I just happen to be mostly using the mattes, but we're gonna use a shimmer all over the lid. So I'm just gonna use this to deepen up that crease. I feel like this brown almost has a slightest bit of like a purplish undertone. It's so pretty. It just doesn't really look like that like in the pan, but it almost has a slight like purple undertone to it since it's such a deep brown. It's really pretty. I'm actually gonna go and bring that same color beneath my lower lash line as well. Then I'm gonna go in with faux all over the lid and just pack this on. For liner, we're gonna try out the Maybelline Curvitude. This looks kind of cool. Um, this is what it looks like, and it's kind of like curved, so it fits better 
in your hand, I guess. So we're gonna try it. Oh, well, it's very pigmented, so that's good. Off the bat. It does feel comfortable in my hand. Like, I feel like though, I don't know, that it feels that much different than like any other liner would, but it doesn't feel like awkward. I like how thin the tip is because it's easy to get like a precise line, but I'm interested to see how this works with like a wing. So we are just gonna try and wing it out. All right, not bad, not bad. That is a pretty thick wing that I did today. I just kept going there, didn't I? All right, so I just went ahead and popped on some Salon Perfect 614s. You guys already know it because I didn't have any new lashes to try out. So eyes are done. We're gonna jump in to the face now. And for contour today, we are gonna use the Estee Lauder and Victoria Beckham bronzer. First things first, we have to talk about the packaging. I know that this collection is a lot pricier than a lot of other collections, but this looks like a like luxury like coin purse or something. Like this is so beautiful. The packaging truly is so nice and it's like so heavy. Like this is just very, very beautiful. They did a really nice job in the packaging. And then you just open it up and it looks like this on the inside. It looks really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this to contour. It's just a matte bronzer. Very pretty. I do believe they have different shades of this. This one is in the shade Saffron Sun. Next for blush, we are gonna jump in with the Tarte Big Blush Book. This is like the cutest thing with so many different options. Ah, I don't know which blush to choose. I'm gonna go in with Kindred. And I'm just gonna pop that on my cheeks to give us some flush. Wow, it's actually more pink, I feel like, on the cheeks than it appears in the pan but it's still really pretty. For highlighter, I am so excited. We are gonna use this one from Burberry. This is the Rose Gold Fresh Glow Highlighter. This looks so, so pretty, so. Let's dive in. So I'm gonna just apply this to my cheekbones. Yes, Lord. That is stunning. Okay, Burberry, I see you. Last but not least, for a lippy, I'm gonna go in with Max Boldly Bear Lip Pencil. Can you guys believe I've never used this? I feel like this is such a popular lip pencil and I've never used it. So I'm gonna line my lips with this. This is definitely a more like pinky toned nude where the actual lip color that I'm gonna go in with isn't. So hopefully they still flow. <laughs> all right, now for all of my lips, I'm gonna go in with this. This is the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick in Cafe Aw Chic. I'm a little nervous because I don't normally go for these colors, but I wanna do something different today. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply that. Definitely doesn't go with the lip liner, so don't use that lip liner with this lip color. I like that there's like a little pointy tip on this because it makes it really easy for me to actually just go in and color and cover up that lip liner um, because you can basically kind of use this as a liner. And now since this is so cool tone, I'm gonna go on top of it with this I Love Sata E and ColourPop collab. This is the Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Curvy, and I'm gonna go right on top with this. and Kind of mix the colors together. I wasn't sure how I'd like these two mixed together, but I actually really like them. Like, they complement each other really well. Alrighty, you guys, so this is the completed look. I hope you guys did enjoy this full face of first impressions. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel right down below before you guys leave today. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.